Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to the video and today I am doing the prompt challenge collaboration with Cigar Blue. If you guys don't know who Cigar Blue is, she is a artist on YouTube that also makes a lot of art related content, sketchbook tours, speed arts, all that stuff. If you guys want to check out her channel, it'll be in the description below. But basically, if you guys don't know what this prompt challenge is, we both gave each other prompts to work off of and create a character from, and then we had to draw it on our own channel. So the prompt that Cigar gave me is a beginner witch reading up on herbal remedies. And if you guys want to know what prompt I gave Cigar, it'll be at the end of this video and you guys can check out her video too. Some of my initial thoughts when I first read this prompt was, I was trying to decide whether I want to go with more of like a cliche route with a witch or if I want to go a little bit more on the character design route where I mess around with different clothing and styles and hairs and all that stuff. So by me, by cliche, I mean like the classic like green skin, like the long nose, you know, the black cloak, the broomstick, that kind of stuff that you see like in Halloween. But after like some further consideration and like some trial sketches and stuff, I realized I kind of wanted to mess around with the character design and try implementing some new ideas. Although I did incorporate a lot of my own ideas, I did have to bring in some of like the really stereotypical witch costume ideas and stuff because it has to still resemble a witch to some point and be recognizable as a witch. So um, you'll see in my final sketch that I brought in like a hat and stuff like that to still resemble a witch. So you'll be able to see in my first sketch and um, in general, I usually go onto Pinterest when I'm looking for ideas and stuff and get inspiration from different artists. So that's what I started off by doing. I just looked up which character design on Pinterest. Um, looked at a lot of how people choose clothing designs and hairstyles and stuff for witches and took inspiration from different pieces. One of the things I was also trying to decide on with this piece was how I wanted to incorporate the green prompt since that was part of the overall prompt. At first I was thinking if I wanted to do the whole like green skin thing, the very like cliche um, take on it or if I wanted to bring it into more of like her powers or like the certain type of magic that she performs And that's what I ended up deciding on was going for more of the power route And you'll see in the final piece that a lot of the colors that I chose are green or complement green really well Also going into this something I really wanted to do and I knew from the beginning was to have a really like strong glow to the art I think when you're creating characters that incorporate magic in some way um, adding like this really strong highlight or glow to the art just like kind of brings the whole thing together and it looks really cool. So once I did all my initial thoughts and stuff of just the prompt, I went in with an initial sketch. I wasn't really sure at this point what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to go with like a little bit of a longer hairstyle instead of something short. So I tried out this hairstyle with like bangs and it's just a little bit longer. It didn't look bad, but it wasn't necessarily my style and I think I could probably find something better. So I ended up changing that in the final image. One thing that I did end up bringing to the final image was the book. I think this is something that I would have done no matter what because the prompt is she's reading up on herbal remedies. So there's gotta be some kind of like literature or something going on there. And then the only like real witch attribute that I ended up bringing in was like the cloak or like the earrings or maybe the glasses if you go on to count that, but it wasn't very like witchy. It could have almost been pulled off of as like a, just like a sorcerer or a wizard or something like that. So going into my final sketch, I knew that was something that I really wanted to change is adding more attributes that kind of correlated to being a witch. But with the glasses, I did make sure to bring those over to the final image because I knew that when I would implement that glow that I was talking about, it would look really cool on the glasses and add this really cool shine to them. And then my last thing about this initial sketch is I felt like that she didn't really look like a beginner um, in this image. I feel like the cloak and the thing she was wearing and her, and her positioning and all that stuff just didn't really uh, feel like she was a beginner at what she was doing. That's something I wanted to bring into my final image. In the new sketch, um, I ended up changing a lot of things. One, we can start with the clothes. I ended up getting rid of the cloak. I feel like that was something that kind of made it seem like she was a master at what she was doing. I brought in some more like slightly cliche clothing styles for the witch, like longer socks, like a corset of some sort, like shoulder pads. And then of course the classic witch hat. The witch hat is almost like a dead giveaway that it is a witch. So um, that was something I wanted to bring in because it makes it clear to the viewer. And for the hair, I knew that the hair was something I wanted to change up too. I just wasn't happy with the whole bang hairstyles. I didn't really have anything in mind that I wanted to go with, but um, I saw this hairstyle on Pinterest and I thought it looked really good. So I brought this into mine. I think it kind of complements the character overall. I think just like the flow of it and the shape of the hairstyle really went well with the entire image. And then the last thing I really wanted to change was the posing. I think that the initial sketch was just way too like stiff. There wasn't a lot of movement going into it. So in my final one, I had her kind of floating 
her limbs and stuff are just a lot more loose and it has a lot more overall flow to the image makes it more appealing to look at and i decided to have her potion object thing that she's working on float just makes it more interesting and it kind of gives me a reason to have like a glow come out of the image so i decided to bring this into photoshop because i really wanted to have the entire freedom of choosing colors because i think with this green prompt i definitely needed a lot of different shades of green that i didn't have in markers Plus, if I really wanted to bring in this like bright glow to the image, it's way easier to do that in Photoshop. It just looks a lot cleaner in Photoshop than it is to do on traditional artwork. So most of my color choices, as you guys will see, are gonna be kind of based around green and what complements the green. So I had her hat be a little bit of a darker green and then her shirt and stuff was a lighter green. And then I used a lot of grays, browns, and blues to kind of complement that. I think the grays, browns, blues, and golds all complement green really well. I needed to bring in the blue in the hair, especially because I think if I only use the green, brown, and gold, and like the gray colors, it would almost look like a pilgrim or just not really a witch. It kind of gives off like a gnome vibe almost. So overall, I'm really happy with how this character design turned out. I think that after experimenting with a bunch of different designs and looking at different inspirations, I came up with a really cool character design and I may even implement this into Heroic, I'm not sure. If I do, it's probably gonna be like a nature element hero. But if you guys want to go ahead and check out my prompt that I gave to Sagari on, on her channel, my prompt that I gave her was a teenage boy from the future that came back in time to look for a family heirloom. So that should be a really fun prompt to do and I'm excited to see what she makes. And if you guys want to see her final product, you guys can head over to her channel and the link will be in the description and in an ed card once the video is up. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more awesome art videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.